The purpose of this video is to explain to you some of these statistics. So as I created my frequency table, I clicked on some additional data, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, min, and max. And so the N here represents how many participants um, that we received data from or who participated in the study. So valid is the actual number. So 20 people answered these questions. There was no missing data. So all students uh, answered the um, answered the questions and so you can see there's zero there. The mean represents the average number uh, for the data set. So the 20 students answered the question um, how likely are you to recommend this placement to other students which is here. Um, their answers could be very unlikely, unlikely, likely, or very likely, which represents one, two, three, and four. And so we see the most frequent or the average of their responses is 3.15. So that is the average. The median is just the middle number. So if you put all 20 people in a line, uh, basically what was the number that was right in the middle? Mode is the most frequently selected number. So four, so in this case it says the mode is four, which represents very likely. And as we can see, 10 people selected very likely. So that was the mode. Standard deviation tells you the spread of the data, how spread out their answers were. And the standard deviation is one, which means that most people fell within one point of each other. The minimum that anyone uh, answered was a 1, and so we can see that here a 1 is very unlikely, so 3 people um, were the minimum, and then maximum was a 4, which is very likely. So um, the min answer was 1, and the maximum answer was 4. So that explains some of these statistics.